Yeah, this is um, a message to the Tea Party people. I would uh, suggest uh, to continue that movement. A good idea would be uh, to not allow the and the Fed people to get mixed up and intertwined with this at all. Um, because uh, in the old days you had, at the forming of the Fed, you had Riggs Bank, you had uh, Barnett Bank, you had Mellon Bank, you had Chase. Banks used to have people's last names. Washington Mutual is about the only one left. Well, is that a last name or is that a state or is that a city? Banks used to be named after uh, cities and states. We do not, but then the Federal Reserve came together and since then, uh, they've been buying each other up. But don't blame the Federal Reserve for unleashing a, a disaster, okay? If you are playing into Democrat hands when you do that, the Democrats at this time have got the Republicans divided and conquered right now because the media helps them maintain momentum and uh, keeps the honeymoon going on between the Magnificent One, who must be obeyed, of Barack the 44th, POTUS. Pharaoh. As he declares, so let it be written, so let it be done, peace be upon him, long live the honeymoon uh, between his carefree, deliriously happy and full of hope voters for him in November of 08 is maintained by a, you know, slobbering media. He's got something different to say to us all every day, and they gaze at his handsome face, and they marvel at his speeches. Uh, you know, some of them actually pay attention to what he said, and still agree with him. It's because they know that he is going to give them something that he will take from you, do you understand? And those to whom he gives will be ever grateful to him, and ever in debt to him. They won't give a damn about you, the ones that actually uh, give them what is actually given. I haven't said that. You know, uh, the Democrats are playing into the hands of the socialists, uh, the hands of the labor unions, the hands of the social justice people like ACORN and the economic justice people like um, the SEIU, uh, Service, uh, Service Employees International Union, which is, and them and ACORN is virtually the same thing. Uh, they have hundreds of little, little uh, clubs with alphabet soup acronym names underneath them, which all receive your tax dollars in order to, uh, you know, feed you a lot of horse shit and further steal your money and your rights. People who advocate the abolition of the Federal Reserve, um, like to say that the Fed creates money out of thin air. And don't blame the Fed for that. Blame the government. Uh, they're the ones who keep looting the money supply, racking up debts because you voted for them, and to do exactly what they are doing. You keep on screaming and crying about something. You need your government to provide you with, you know, X, health care. Uh, a car, a job, a house, a refinancing, food, but that, the list goes on, American. You want it all from your government, so they got to get it from somewhere. They force the Fed to create money out of thin air, okay? The Fed keeps on coming with ways, coming up with ways that the government can pay them back someday, and that means you are paying them back, or your kids. Or you believe you have a right to other people's money. That's the problem. It's you. You want government to make things fair for you and easier for you, and everybody else can go eat shit, right? Especially if they got more money than you, they need, and they need to have that money taken away from them and given, given to uh, help you out. I know. Look at Social Security. The U.S. government forces the Fed to lend that money to them. See, the government is looting from the Fed. The Fed they're just shaking down the Fed, the banks, the civilian-owned banks. They're being forced to loan money to the government, and the government also tells them, uh, forces them to loan money to other people who can't pay it back, see? And that is the problem. The problem is government. And if you know the problem is government, like the Tea Party People movement do, and other similar uh, movements like the 912 Projects and other things going on, whatever Sarah Palin and, uh, you know, 
Governor Sanford that the, the Tea Party movement people should not allow the end the Fed people to get mixed up with them. Um, I don't think that they're up to any good, really, that they want to work with anybody. I further think they're, they're either ignorant, they don't know what really is going on, although they think they do, and they want you to think they do. It sounds really good and everything, but uh, it's very inconsistent, and therefore I don't trust it. This is the reason why I call it inconsistent. They claim to be aligned with Tea Party people. They always show up at Tea Party type of rallies with their end the fed signs and t-shirts and bumper stickers and they're always allowed to have a longer time than most people to make a speech also which is not fair and they, they're bitching about the, the fact that the federal reserve is privately owned yes i say that that is a good thing because um what we are trying to do is keep the government out of things and if we become like most countries where they have a government-run central bank which is what the omen is shooting for then that's inconsistent with what these and the fed people are at the rallies for because they are for a central banking system which is government run so actually they are for the opposite of what the tea party wants which is less government the end of fed people want more government see that's why i don't trust them and that's why i don't think they are really there uh, for the same reasons and why they should not be allowed to have the stage as it were they should be not be given the attention and if i went to a tea party rally i would say that out loud in front of as many people as I was given the opportunity to say that in front of. Now, see, the, the thing is that fi financial, um, economic, uh, and investing type of issues are, are complicated and they're being confused right now because the Fed is seeking more power. That is being labeled by guys like Glenn Beck as being bad. I agree that it is, uh, it would not normally be, but uh, like all institutions, the uh, the Federal Reserve is uh, full of people that have differing viewpoints and it so happens that the ones who are in power right now and want the Federal Reserve to have more powers to regulate and even shut down other banks and businesses is because th that is at the behest of the Omen and, and Geithner and Bernanke which I don't trust Bernanke, I think he is the wolf in the hen house and he is the, if not the chief mastermind of doing to this economy what's been done to it, he is certainly one of the head masters, he is one of the fingers in the uh, black hand as it were, that has squeezed the throats of uh, America and tumbling outward from there the world with lies and uh, manipulation of data and exaggeration of uh, poor circumstances and downward trends amplifying them into a perceived uh, mega uh, disaster like a tsunami to wipe out everything which it's really uh, a, a a coup in disguise, a communist takeover, a, where we are being forced to abandon free enterprise and um, individual uh, reward for our individual efforts, and we are being herded into the, we're all in this together, kind of uh, uh, from each according to his abilities, to each according to his needs, kind of animal farm of, um, uh, of Barack Obama's communist fantasy. So uh, my main point is that uh, we got to keep the end Fed people out of it. Don't get confused. The Federal Reserve, uh, the banks have to always be owned by people or else we're in big trouble and your money will not be yours. It, uh, it's, it's really not right now. It's already being taken away because you've been sleeping, but you better wake the hell up.